In an unprecedented, never before seen move, this is the fourth part. I say this every time, but you don't actually have to watch the previous parts. If all you care about is watching me try to form the Roman Empire, then frankly, you don't even have to watch anything but the last episode. But you can probably tell what's going on. We're playing Byzantium. At the end of the last part in this mini series, I dismantle the Holy Roman Empire, which means we're going to have less aggressive expansion when invading. And to be specific, we have about minus 45% AE impact. You know, hopefully I can form the Roman Empire before like, I don't know, 1625 or something. It might happen, who knows. The main goal for today, which has eluded me for so far, is mostly to finish Justinian's ambition. I already took Rome, I just need to take like most of Northern Italy and that'll be easily done. Of course, I'm gonna do more stuff, but that's like the main thing I wanna do, you know? Now, obviously I don't have to ally any of the electors anymore because, well, they're just no longer electors. So I frankly don't care that much. But you know what I should do? I should royal marry Denmark. I mean, look at that, 39 year old guy, no heir. Could happen. Maybe. Oh yeah, there is one slight issue with expanding more. I don't have a lot of governing capacity. Yeah, I know I said I fixed it. I kind of didn't. Uh, we're just gonna build a lot of courthouses. That'll be fine. And having over 100% is actually not so big of a deal. Uh, that's mostly because my unrest is pretty solid. Anything which is orthodox almost always has negative unrest. We just have a lot of tolerance to the true faith, so. Actually, so long as I have the Age of Reformation active, uh, I want to fight as many different religions as possible. I mean, that's not very hard given, you know, they're like, what, three orthodox countries, but whatever. You know, main point is this, uh, we get a lot of reduction on that, at least for now, so that's kind of nice. Also, I should finish upgrading Malta, shouldn't I? Yeah, I have manpower, we can do that. Anyways, I do want to fight Spain, probably for their Italian holdings. If I have leftover war score, then honestly, I'm probably gonna take the colonies. I do sort of want to fully annex Spain, but look at this. Oh, that's gross. They'll just go into exile if I don't do that, which is actually even worse. Okay, it's stupid, but I kind of wish that the Susian separatists were just called South separatists. All right, ship's done. We get sea fire, galley combat ability for the rest of the game. It's a little bit broken considering our naval doctrine already gives us a lot. <laughs> but okay, sure, we'll make that 40%. Why not? There we go, Malta's done. Yo, wait, if you own 40 provinces in Iberia, didn't you get another minus 10% war score cost versus other religions? Wait a minute. I wouldn't be able to, you know, conveniently own 40 provinces, would I? <laughs> nah, it's like 23 or something, darn. You know, I do find it a little bit odd that Spain is just letting me walk into their country. I mean, like, you're not gonna put up a fight? Most of their troops are probably over here, but still, I mean, 120,000 people. Surely you can bring some back home. <laughs> Time to, uh, extort, I mean, um, uh, get some fair and square cash out of Russia, I again. I may or may not be bankrupting my ally, but it's not like they were gonna help me with anything anyway, so they might as well give me money. Okay, Savoy's an easy piece. Uh, actually, I don't even care about your money, just leave. I think I might want to invade them soon, since Venice doesn't have enough provinces for, uh, this mission. Man, the great thing about wars against colonial powers is that when you use the wrong CV, you never get to fight them, so who knows how long this war is gonna take. Anyway, we can still do stuff in the meantime. Like, I'll probably just invade this guy. Yeah, even Savoy won't help him. Easy. Alright, let me just yoink that. Oh, that was actually uh, almost a tough fight. We lost seven galleys. I mean, it's a good thing I can make a lot more in like a few months, but we are surprisingly not done yet. Wait, hold on a second. If Spain still has 100,000 men, but they have no control over their mainland, they should go bankrupt, right? <laughs> like just in theory, 16 ducats a month is probably not enough to sustain 100,000 men. Am I really gonna have to go over to the colonies? All right, here we go. Okay, so like this, this should definitely do it, right? Okay, looks like we have to occupy a little bit more. Lovely. Is there an army I can fight? Please. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Just a little bit of superiority. Jack White, baby. That's enough, right? We're good? Finally. Okay, let's actually get the boys home first. So as far as cursed peace deals go, this might be one of them. Uh, it's 250% over extension. Don't worry. That's intentional. It's by design. Well, we'll have a truce with Spain. The truce with France uh, has just ended, so we should invade them like immediately after. Uh, for that, I'm going to need a border. Of course, uh, it's going to be a little cursed, but we're going to use this border. <laughs> what we're going to use to uh, get the CV against France, since I am releasing Aragon. But yeah, that is a lot of aggressive expansion. I think we'll be fine, though. We are kind of at the snowball point. Uh, it's a lot of money that we make. A lot more money than, well, pretty much anybody else. Uh, plus the manpower, plus the quality. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. A few minutes later. So we've made a couple of enemies. I think the first thing we're going to want to do is release a couple countries because that is a lot of overextension. I'm going to do myself a favor by first uh, releasing Aragon. 14 province. 
That's a lot more provinces than I thought they would get. Oh, right, because you have cores on this stuff. Okay, we're not releasing Aragon. We will instead release Catalonia. And of course, we will land them as a Pernoyar immediately. And I'm even going to hand them this stuff over here. I'll core that myself. And I can release Granada, no problem. I think I also probably want to release Florence. Yeah, let's release Florence. You can take some land back so I can start building a little bit of absolutism. Okay, let's land you as a Pernoyar. Then, of course, I can hand you a couple of provinces. No problem. Florence, same thing. You can have a few provinces. See? Told you it'd be no problem. Only 32% overextension. Wait, hold on a second. I was kind of joking that last time when I thought that releasing Pernoyars were giving them like insane stats. Hold on. 646 this guy, 646 that guy, 646 this guy. Clearly it's intentional. Wait, France is allied to Venice? Dude, that sucks. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do then? And invade France. Uh, that's a bad battle to take, so I'm just not going to. What I really want to do is just get Venice out on, well, maybe not a white piece, but like close to a white piece. I might break their alliance with France, but you know, otherwise I do want to invade them like pretty quickly. Oh, please don't fight me there. I don't want to fight you there. Why are you like this? You, that's a lot of, that's a lot of pips. Five, six, four, six. Actually, that's 21 pips. That's literally the maximum. <laughs> it's the most pips you can get right now. Okay, Venice, just break your lines with France. I don't care about your money. Paris has fallen again, I think. It's not the first time we've been here. All right, so Hungary, likewise, just break your alliances. Otherwise, you're kind of free to go. Also, yeah, I do want to invade them. Really not so bad of a war. I kind of uh, expected a lot worse, to be honest. Actually, I think the worst is yet to come. Because this peace deal still has to be made. You see, the thing is, um, that looks kind of bad, but I don't think it's actually that bad. I just have a lot of truces with people, so it's not a lot to be worried about. The difference this time being that I think I want to release, like, several Pernoyars from France? Pernoya? What even is the plural of that? Anyway, I'm gonna make a bunch of them. Like, probably Toulouse, Gascony... Baby Provence. It's just a lot of aggressive expansion to take stuff. Even with my reduction, still kind of annoying. So I would prefer to use a bit of Reconquest next time, I think. Or if I were insane, I could do something like this. Nah, it kind of defeats the whole purpose, you know? Okay, it's December. I think we should probably finish this off. Actually, that kind of assumes that, like... I can make enough Pernoyars. I have a lot, don't I? Most of them are not hereditary, so they should disappear soon. I just don't actually know how many I can have. Like, for some reason, it doesn't really show up in the modifiers. I've checked. I just can't find it. Okay, I'm kind of dumb. I let the month tick by, but probably not a big deal. Yeah, we'll just go with this. There we go. So I think we'll release Gascony. Of course, I'll turn them into a Pernoyar. And then for other subjects, I'm thinking Toulouse would not be a bad idea. Well, it's only three additional cores. Okay, we'll just go with Gascony then instead of both of them. So in that case, I will hand you off a couple of provinces. Ah, there we go. We've inherited at least one of them. That's good. It also means that this is technically like a free state core stuff, which is cool, but I don't care so much about that. The main point is I don't know how many Pernoyars I can have, so might as well make some of them hereditary or non-hereditary. Why do I own this? I don't remember taking this from anybody, and I just now got a CB against Congo. I swear I didn't take this from Spain. At least I don't think so. Not a huge expense, I suppose. Well, either way, we do get an additional Pernoyar. Also, spy network construction. Yep. I should upgrade Alhambra. Kind of forgot about this somehow for some reason. Okay, I should probably attack Savoy before they join the coalition. See, the problem is that I kind of want to annex all of Savoy. Their land does mostly count for this mission. Problem is uh, that's going to be a lot of aggressive expansion. So I'm thinking I should probably get some more allies. Like England. Wait, really? You guys would ally me. Oh, hell yeah. Absolutely. It doesn't get freer than that. <laughs> All right. Crisis averted. It is insane how much money Venice makes off of trade. I need to do something about this. This guy's, he's making too much money. plato has been taken. Still can't peace out Spain though, which is kind of weird considering pretty much should be bankrupt, shouldn't they? Dude, <laughs> they have 13 loans. They really should not try to fight this anymore. Okay, please leave. Thank you. White peace will allow us to attack them again in five years. Okay, let's upgrade this. You have plenty of manpower to spend on that and maybe a bit of money. Okay, the second level is done. Let's try to go for the third level. It's gonna take a while. Or you know what I could do actually? Yeah, no, I'm just gonna spend money. <laughs> that level three is so important. 5% admin efficiency. Beautiful. Finally. Oh my god, finally. Hey, how long have we had this for? Syria's just been sitting here, not a Pernoyar for so long. Hereditary is gonna take a while, but at least I don't have to like keep on stealing land from them. Oh, yeah, I forgot. 
for Neuers, you can just send them men. So like, that's easy. We can just reduce it down to 14 and then make them hereditary or non-hereditary. I keep getting that mixed up. And if I remember correctly, I think admin efficiency does affect your aggressive expansion. That's also a neat little thing. I don't think it's going to be enough though. <laughs> well, that's too bad. Oops. Uh, right. Kind of didn't pay attention to that. Hold on. Maybe I should have waited a little bit or like pressed the button or something. Well, Anyway, let me turn this guy into a Pernoyar. And you know what? You can have... Uh, you can have all this, actually. Okay, excellent. That should be fine for us. I just... Wait a second. Where did all the governing capacity go? I guess those state houses were doing a lot more than I thought they were. Wow, even Portugal left the coalition. I thought the coalition was supposed to be expanding. What happened, guys? Well, naturally, it's just them realizing that uh, rule under the Roman Empire, of course, would be better than anything they could possibly offer. I mean, it only makes sense, seeing how rich this country is. Actually, should I invade Portugal? I guess I probably should shouldn't i the only problem of course is that portugal is um also an empire with overseas territories that i will probably have to siege down look they have stuff all the way out here how am i gonna grab that yes truce with england is up truce with a bunch of other people is up mm -hmm. did you just ally spain in the last few days because you weren't allied to spain a few minutes ago that kind of sucks because you know i have to wait a few years now oh there's the coalition yeah there it is well it's fine actually you know what i should do yeah let me restore the Pentarchy real quick. Maybe mend the schism? Possibly. I'll think about it. Ooh, England actually might offer me more money, and I do like money. All right, truce with Venice is up. This should be an easy war, and hopefully a quick war, because we do have a truce with Spain coming up soon. Hmm, that's kind of weird. Why can't I walk into Venice? Oh, is it because Trent's there? Oh, I see, I see, I see, okay. I'll get the sixth siege guy for that. Okay, we can kick Trent out of this war. I don't particularly care. In fact, yeah, just be orthodox. Venice shall burn. You know what? Just, just for the hell of it. Yeah, we're, we're gonna burn it. Retribution. Now, in reality, uh, I don't actually need all that much it does make the coalition you know slightly larger or whatever i don't think that's too big of a problem i'm starting to think as long as i truce juggle appropriately the rest of europe can't really stop me so in that case why not take a whole lot of stuff that's not so bad okay first we destroy venice burn it to the ground <laughs> then i guess i can release like mantua or something because you can have these two as well oh i don't have enough pernoyar slots that's crazy okay let's tally them up how many can i have then Seven. Great way of finding out. Okay. So in that case, I can't actually give you above 100 development. Otherwise, we have the Syria problem that we had earlier. Okay. In that case, I actually have that. Okay. We can finish off Basilari Basilaris. What? Okay. We can finish off Belisarius's foe, which is a lot of claims. Sheesh. I feel like I already have a lot of those, but I guess not. Maybe I'm crazy. Anyway, what do we have? Uh, we can just take a general. Okay. I guess we'll go with plus one maneuver, plus one siege. And finally, Justinian's ambition. That took a long time to happen. <laughs> hey, could you imagine the second episode? I was like, oh yeah, I'll get this renaming pretty quick. Now that I think about it, I don't even think that would have been possible in the second episode. <laughs> the min-maxer in me wants to wait to get that splendor, but the content creator in me really wants the name Eastern Roman Empire. <laughs> Screw it, we're doing it. Oh, that's beautiful. I mean, the name placement sucks. But, you know, we'll fix that. Now, we are at a slight impasse, because, you know, we can't quite form the Roman Empire. I don't think we have time for that today. But, on the other hand, there's got to be something else I can do. Oh, I know, actually, that's not that hard. Uh, I'm just going to invade Spain and France another time, I think. And then maybe next time I'll form the Roman Empire. I guess there will have to be a fifth part. Okay, so I know being a Pernoyar makes it, like, a lot more expensive to core stuff. But, also, you'd think they'd be able to core, like, a little bit faster, right? <laughs> like, they, they all start with six admin. All of them do. I mean, at least this guy's mostly done coring. Wait, how did you get that? Expansion ideas. Hmm. Well, thanks, I suppose. Ooh, hello there. A war where I can fight just Austria and split apart the coalition. Hmm. Interesting. That actually is a pretty big coalition. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, so I, I checked. The coalition's like, I don't know, what is that? 600,000 people? But then again, if they declared on me, we would also have 600,000 people. So, you know, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Uh, we'll just keep on true struggling for now. I think it's fine. Ooh, that's a good question. Do we go back to Rome? Oh, nah. Eventually, possibly. But, uh, yeah, not yet. The main reason being, of course, I, I haven't really sorted out the trade yet. Constantinople is also, like, really important right now. So, yeah, I think I still actually want to develop it, don't I? Yeah, I do. Okay, so in that case, no, we're just gonna, like, stay in Constantinople for now. Gonna do a little bit of developing. Okay, truce with Spain. 
Time for war. And of course, from Austria, I don't really want much. Just break their alliance with England. That would be cool. Otherwise, I don't care. And naturally, I'll just annex you. You know, I was kind of hoping that Portugal would surrender at this point, but I guess we'll just have to fight them. You know what I mean? Not like actually surrender, but I was hoping they would accept the peace. Should I declare war on Hungary? Probably. Actually, should I vassalize Hungary? Could I even vassalize Hungary? I could, theoretically. Annex, release, make them a Pornoyar. Although, you know, current ones we have aren't really dying fast enough, to be frank. This guy is 64 years old. I kind of need him to die already. Florence guy, 56, not too old. Syria, that guy's even younger. Oh yeah, and I did turn this guy into a, a non-hereditary one. Kind of gave up on doing that reconquest because I no longer care. But yeah, you know what? I guess I am going to declare that war. So maybe now that I've occupied the majority of Portugal, they'll finally give up. Thank you. Man, I really want to take the Rylands, but I can't. That sucks. I take this yeah i'm gonna take that okay cool thanks uh yes here we go again spain you know what yeah i'm gonna take that i don't know why i can't take this but i can take that oh is that a colony no that's not even a colony i'm so confused i don't know why wait a minute don't have the range for this but i do have the range for this what oh i'm stupid the red sea yeah right i I own territory over here. That makes a lot more sense, actually. <laughs> we must halt the spread of the Spanish everywhere that I can one day full annex them. But today I'm going to be taking all this stuff. Oh, apparently I also haven't finished this off. Oh, right, because I need to inherit this guy because I don't have enough. Yeah, okay, all right, that's cool. Actually, what I will do is divert trade for a single month. That should give me, well, pretty much everything in this node once it activates. Might just take a little bit longer. Right, so we can finish this off. It gives us a little bit of mercantilism, enables Promote single market for the umperoi, and then we get some more production. Oh, well, I feel stupid now. Uh, <laughs> maybe I should have taken this. That would have been a good idea. Yeah, and it would honestly be a better idea to wait until after I, you know, finish this era. Next era comes along pop this button it lasts the entire era probably a good idea anyway we can finish off the bread basket makes it much cheaper to dev in constantinople and we do have to finish deving this oh my god this overly bloated poor city all right we'll say yes but only after i finish these wars so i'm gonna take all this from hungary and from spain i'm going to maybe not take so much i kind of don't want denmark to join it might be the final straw uh we'll leave this alone i guess yoink okay Okay, let's release Leon. Then I can also grab strong duchies. And we can go ahead and release Hungary or not. I can release Hungary. But with more provinces than I thought there would be. Oh, come on, really? You own this over here? Okay, that's not happening. Never mind. I devved these provinces a lot. 16 times here. 16 times here. Never mind. We're gonna core that. Okay, so we can't give Leon too much extra land. Obviously, they need to have less than 100 development. But I could give you this, I suppose. For Catalonia. I'll just give them their cores back, obviously. They're already non-hereditary, so we'll just give them a few things. That brings us down to a much more manageable number. And then we can accept the call to arms. Truce with France is up. Time for war. Uh, you know, I was kind of hoping to finish off this war first, but we're just going to go ahead and take reconquest, I think. I could call in England. Yeah, I'm not going to. Even if they don't ask for something, they're going to occupy stuff they want, and I don't like that. Besides, we can handle France. Yeah, uh, that might not be a very good battle. Yeah, there's a little bit of a general discrepancy. But remember, I can replace these casualties. Uh, he probably cannot. You know what would be really funny? Please, I just, I want one PU in this campaign. It's not fair. Just a little England PU as a treat, just a tiny one, you know? So from France, I am going with a little bit of a smaller peace deal this time. I'm just going to reconquer all the land for Gascony. And then I'm going to, of course, make them a non-hereditary Pernoyar. Hopefully this guy will then, of course, uh, die and I'll inherit the land for free. And then I want this territory to release Burgundy because that's a lot of territory I can take very easily. Other than that, I would be spending needless amounts of Diplo and an unnecessary amount of aggressive expansion. Not that that really matters that much at this point, but I would prefer to avoid it if I can. I should make them the next Pronoyar, but that's maybe going to take a while. It depends on when this guy finally bites the dust. If I didn't know any better, I would say that the non-hereditary Pernoyars are scripted to live until they're like 75. Ah, here we go. We can pick up the tier 8 reform, Lysio Enormis. Production efficiency, global prosperity growth, that's not too bad. Autonomy change, also pretty solid. And of course, we do need it to get a little extra special thing for this mission. And then, of course, I can get Machiavellianism. Yep, okay, we like manpower, I'm taking that. Oh, wait a second, I can land a Pernoyar? Someone got integrated. But I don't know who it was. No, that, that can't be right. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. Did I get an eighth slot? I don't think I should have gotten an eighth slot. Kind of confused right now. Okay, well, uh, we'll land Mantua one as we were supposed to already. Now, the thing about you is that I don't know if I even value this alliance. Who am I kidding? No, I don't. In fact, I kind of forgot that they were even my ally. <laughs> there we go. Someone got inherited. Took long enough. That means I can land the next Pernoyar. There we go. Another throne inherited, finally. Not all at once, guys. <laughs> of course, Burgundy will be the next Pernoyar. When we reconquer all of their territory, they will have way more than 100 devs, so we might as well do that right now. Here we go. Let's export more mosaics. I think England would be willing to pay right? Well, even if they don't have the money, I imagine they would anyway. <laughs> Seems to be a trend. All right, truce with Austria is over. I'm going to declare a war just to like get a couple more people out of the coalition. Maybe it'll dissolve. Who knows? Anyway, uh, I also could use some other land in the decision for restoring the Roman Empire, so might as well take it. Okay, truce with Portugal is also up. I love fighting multiple wars at the same time. It's great. Looks like we're gonna have to go on another journey. Love sailing across the Atlantic just so I can beat up the power that I've already full occupied. It's, uh, it's lovely. I love that. Okay, so Switzerland's gonna leave. Force religion too. Why not? Okay, once again, I am asking, how on earth did I get this colony? I just got the pop-up saying like, oh, here you go. Here's a colony. Like, what? What? Why do you have colonies? What are you doing? Oh, right. Of course, we can't forget the colonial Joloff Empire. You know. Okay, from Austria, I'll be taking all of this. I'm even going to concentrate a little bit of development just to save myself a bit of overextension. And then, you know, I'll come back here and I'll, I'll clean up those tags over here. Hold on a second. I just saw that the Treaty of Tordesillas fired for Portugal. Was that in Alaska? No, that must have been like California or something. Ah, no, here it is. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say, though, um, I don't even think the Pope can uh, grant Portugal Portugal, <laughs> let alone anything in the New World. Oh, could this be it? Could this be what we need? Point one war score. Never mind. Well, the other cores are almost in anyway, so I might as well wait until December. At this point, it doesn't even matter. Finally, you know how long that took? You know how long that took? I think we've had Syria for, let me, let's see here, 15 29. 70 years. Finally. And you know what? That also gives me an achievement, by the way. Restore the Pentarchy. I mean, we already knew that, though. Oh, let's go. 20 Patriarch Authority and 50 Diplo Power. Well, you know what we can do with that, obviously. We can swap this over to, like, this, I guess. And then swap it back over to refresh the duration. And then get the 20 Patriarch Authority. Here we go. Lots of cores done. It is December. And we can finish off this war. I'm only going to take a few provinces from mainland Portugal. The rest are going to be from their colonies, including including also just one right here. It'll hopefully give me the range to be able to grab this next time. And also Portugal has quite a few provinces in Alaska. So unless they make a colonial nation, that's also going to be a pain. But this is not so bad of a peace deal. The only thing is, I think I'm going to turn this into a client state. But ideally, we just give it all of Portugal. Actually, you know what? We change the name of this guy. Here we go. Lusitania. A little bit more fitting, I think. Oh, also, I should probably land them as a Pernoyar, of course. As for everything else, fairly easy to core. But unfortunately, I think that's kind of all the time we have for today. I was thinking maybe I could, you know, put part four and part five together by forming the Eastern Roman Empire and the Roman Empire at the same time. I think that would end up being like an hour and a half long video. Also, I don't want to force my editor to also edit down another hour and a half video. So we still have like 150 provinces we have to take. That's going to be mainly France and Spain, if we're being honest, but like maybe some of Germany. 1601, you can see we have a truce with France that ends. Also a truce with Venice, who obviously we're going to annex. Uh, but France, we're going to reconquer all of Burgundy from, obviously. And then once we integrate all of our Pernoyars, I'm thinking that's gotta be at least like another 40 provinces, right? And then that doesn't actually leave us with too much we need for the Roman Empire. But that's gonna have to be for the final part. Frankly, a part that I never thought I would be getting to. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, leaving a like, of course, would be appreciated. If you haven't subscribed, it's probably a good idea at this point. Anyway, for now, this is Corbett signing off. And as always, have a fantastic day. Thank you to all the patrons that helped make this possible. Including, but not limited to, Erica, The Quebecer, Nick Steffel, Hubert, Quiet Guy, Sin Miss 077, Torvald, Ambient Cyan, James Levy, Luke78776, Robert Kaleno, Chewy Shoot, The Watcher, Brova, Robert, and Jamie.